What's up YouTube, it's Alan here. I'm back with another video and this video was something I had to talk about. And this video is about how the MCU keep on adding talent to their roster. Now, what I'm referring to is the recent news coming out from The Hollywood Reporter. And this is basically something to do with the casting or better yet, a recasting of a pre-existing character. And that character is Thunderbolt Ross. Now, as of this moment, nothing is concrete Nothing is signed, nothing is official, but the bigger trades have been running with this story. And this story is how they picked up another heavy hitter and added it to the roster. Now, I gotta tell you right now, it's never a bad thing to add talent to a movie. The more talent you add to a movie, the better performance you get from the actors in said movie. Makes sense. So what Disney decided to do was go in-house, look for some good talent they already had, and use that person to be casted as Thunderbolt Ross. Now, if you don't know, the person who was playing Thunderbolt Ross, William Hurts, died last year. Unfortunately, he passed away. So because of that, Disney took their due diligence and decided to move forward with the recasting in order to pull off the Thunderbolts movie. And the person they're potentially looking at to do this is Harrison Ford. Now, this is something, like I keep saying today, I did not expect. I feel like Disney right now is dropping all these nuggets, all these pieces of gems after D23. And to me, that's pretty crazy. That's pretty freaking weird. Why wait until after D23? to drop all these bombshells when D23 was your big event to celebrate news. And this right here is newsworthy, right? Now, it is kind of odd that Harrison Ford would be playing a villain or an anti-hero in a way, because as Thunderbolt Ross, he will be taking on the persona of the Red Hawk. Now, that's wild because Red Hulk is a very iconic character. And basically, the long and short of it is, the Red Hulk is the Incredible Hulk that retains all the personality traits of the person who is taking that form. So with Harrison Ford playing this anti-hero, I can see him doing a whole lot with this role. But I also got to say this, Harrison Ford is not known to play bad guys. And Thunderbolt Ross, I want to say as far as he is a bad guy, but he's also not a good guy either. Like, he's a guy who sees everything cut and dry. Either you're good or you're bad. If you're bad, he's taking you out. If you're good, or at least the American way of good, he will stand beside you. All throughout the MCU, Thunderbolt Ross was standing in opposition of the Avengers. He was chasing down Black Widow. In the Black Widow movie, he was against the um, Captain America as well as Falcon and all of them during the Civil War. And now here he is taking a ragtag team of villains and anti-heroes and side characters and forming a whole new team to fight under the banner of the United States. And that is the Thunderbolts. Now, this, is, this story is still evolving. It's still coming out. It's still pretty much taking form. But I thought I should make a video about this because this is a piece of news that you cannot pass up. This is Marvel pretty much taking one of the best actors that Star Wars have and bringing it over to their side and just capitalizing on it. Because again, it's never a bad thing to add talent. And this right here with Harrison Ford is just that. It's talent. He did what Han Solo, he did Indiana Jones, he did all kinds of iconic characters that now he'll be able to add another one to his belt saying he played Thunderbolt Ross in the Thunderbolts, right? So down below in the comment section, let me know if you enjoyed this topic. Let me know if you're interested in seeing Harrison Ford taking on the iconic role of Thunderbolt Ross. And I got to say, this is a recast I never knew that I wanted until I read it. And speaking of recasting, I'm wondering why they did not do the same thing with T'Challa and the Black Panther. Mm -hmm. But see, that's a topic for another video. And this video right here, unfortunately, is over. So before you leave, check out some of the videos on my channel. I have one I did earlier 
we'll talk about Don Cheadle in Armor Wars as well as Hugh Jackman returning as Wolverine. Come on now. Peace.